Independent MLA of Jammu and Kashmir engineer Rashid, who earlier hosted a beef party and faced an ink attack in the capital, has made another controversial comment this time. He has said Kashmir is not part of India, just like Pakistan occupied Kashmir is not part of Pakistan. Not only that, he goes on to say that there should be plebiscite in the state. In these remarks, which are a pitch for Azadi, the MLA is actually comparing Kashmir with POK. What's surprising is that the remarks are coming from a lawmaker. <laughs> बिल्कुल सीधी बात है पूरा जम्मू कश्मीर एक डिस्प्यूटेड इलाका है आजाद कश्मीर पाकिस्तान की शाहरक नहीं है और हमारा कश्मीर हिंदुस्तान का अटूट अंग नहीं है एक राजशुमारी होनी चाहिए चौबीस सीटें पहले ही हमारी असेंबली में आजाद कश्मीर इलाके के लिए है उनका अपना प्राइम मिनिस्टर अपना परिषद है हम इसीलिए मानते हैं आप जमीन के लिए मत लड़ो दोनों कंट्री एक पुरमन तरीके से मिल बैठ के मसले का हल निकालो ताकि यहाँ मारामारी बंद हो जाए और इंडिया और पाकिस्तान तरक्की कर सके चैन मिल सके आपको इन मुसीबतों से निजात मिल सके let me now go across to Shujal Haq, who's joining us with more details from Srinagar. Shujal, Engineer Rashid has a way of really staying in controversy. What kind of reactions have you been getting to his latest statement? Well, uh, Maha, you, you know, first of all, we have to understand that uh, this uh, particular statement was made at a time uh, when he uh, was actually uh, saying that uh, his movement has been curbed by uh, the state uh, and, and, and the police. Uh, hmm. uh, he was uh, referring to uh, the fact that uh, on 26th of January, he was not even allowed by the police to go and attend the Republic Day ceremony. Uh, that was, uh, the uh, you know, uh, the backdrop, backdrop to this particular comment. Uh, but the fact that he has made this comment, uh, just is uh, inviting a lot of reactions particularly from uh, the uh, BJP in, in uh, Jammu division uh, and they have always been reacting to his uh, statements and let's just rem remind our viewers this is not the first time that engineer Rashid has made a statement or a comment on uh, the issue of uh, you know Jammu and Kashmir he has said it earlier as well that uh, for him uh, the only solution means uh, uh, you know uh, to conduct a plebiscite for the entire state of Jammu and Kashmir also for the parts which are under the occupation of Pakistan and then only the future of Jammu and Kashmir should be decided. But certainly these comments have never gone down well with, uh, uh, you know, uh, p people like uh, uh, the, those who are, uh, uh, you know, uh, all his uh, fellow lawmakers in mm -hmm. the assembly. Uh, mm -hmm. We've seen many incidents of squabbles even uh, between him and many, uh, you know, MLAs of uh, BJP inside the assembly. In fact, just remember that just last assembly only there was actually a fist fight between Engineer Rashid and many of the BJP MLAs. Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay, Shuja, just stay on with us. Let's quickly once again listen into what uh, exactly Engineer Rashid said and then we'll come back to you. बिल्कुल सीधी बात है पूरा जम्मू कश्मीर एक डिस्प्यूटेड इलाका है आजाद कश्मीर पाकिस्तान की शाहरक नहीं है और हमारा कश्मीर हिंदुस्तान का अटूट अंग नहीं है एक राजशुमारी होनी चाहिए चौबीस सीटें पहले ही हमारी असेंबली में आजाद कश्मीर इलाके के लिए है उनका अपना प्राइम मिनिस्टर अपना परिषद है हम इसीलिए मानते हैं आप जमीन के लिए मत लड़ो दोनों कंट्री एक पुरमन तरीके से मिल बैठ के मसले का हल निकालो ताकि यहाँ मारामारी बंद हो जाए और इंडिया और पाकिस्तान तरक्की कर सके मिल सके आपको इन मुसीबतों से निजात मिल सके Senior editor Gaurav Savant is also now joining us uh, with his inputs from the newsroom. Gaurav, you know, it's rather ironical as uh, Shuja is pointing out there that engineer Rashid was apparently upset over not being allowed to attend the Republic Day function. On the other hand, speaks about uh, plebiscite on the issue of Azadi. Look, he's an independent MLA and he continues to raise these bogies of plebiscite again and again because it caters to a particular constituency. And look, there cannot be plebiscite in today's day and age. A lot of, a lot of water has flown down the Ganges since then. So one plebiscite is out of the question. It's a bogey and unfortunately this bogey is seldom countered. Why can't there be a plebiscite? Because Pakistan violated all norms of the agreement. Pakistan came into Jammu and Kashmir in 1948. They had to be pushed back there was a war in 65 there was a war in 71 there was a line of control that was established and now uh, uh, you know Kashmiri Hindu pundits were thrown out of Jammu and Kashmir so plebiscite is out of question the only dispute is Pakistan occupied Kashmir and unfortunately all of these facts are not told to the new generation in Jammu and Kashmir and the rest of the country which they need to know people like engineer Rashid they keep coming out with this bogey again and again and again contaminating minds uh, of of young people of jammu and kashmir that's point one 
point two, he's a serial offender. Uh, whether it's a beef party that he chooses to organize or um, you know makes a statement that he'll hand over opposition leaders to Lashkar e Taiba or or uh, you know other such things in the past, this man is one serial offender. And the question remains: Why don't the speaker and the establishment in Jammu and Kashmir take action against him? Because he's not just any nondescript man; he's an okay. elected okay. lawmaker, okay. and okay. it remains to be seen whether action is taken hmm. against him this time or not. All right, Shujaan and Gaurav May, thanks for joining us with those details. He's been stellar in his performance at Adelaide, unbeaten at 90. So we had a Virat Kohli fan in Pakistan, a Pakistani national, who then had Virat Kohli's posters out in a big way. And he... When there is an issue of keeping the conscience of this nation, we will not go back from that. And I will not go back to the past to tell you what you have done. But we believe what we did is the right thing and we will make sure that